Thanks, Joe. Today, November 2nd, 2013, the University of Akron honors Jim Dennison, Zips football winningest coach in program history. I'm with the man of the day, head coach Jim Dennison. Today has been named Jim Dennison Day here in Akron. How are you? How does it make you feel? Well, it makes me feel very, very humbled uh, because it's not it's not an individual thing. Anything that I've ever done, uh, it's because of the good work, hard work, dedication of others. And that's a humbling thing. We had a lot of those, over 250 of our former players here today. And that in itself speaks volumes. And uh, we're, we're, we're thrilled. Um, coach D was a great coach. I mean, he took care of us. He took care of everybody that ever played for him. Um, he made sure that we went to class when we played for him, which was a big thing with him. And he was just a great coach to play with. It extended beyond football, you know, with the family. And this is a testament. This uh, gathering is a testament to that. It was an experience of always learning, always teaching, and growth. Mike, what was it like to play for Coach Dennison? Well, I was, a, I was known as Shamu. They gave me a nickname, and I walked on. And with Coach D, um, Every time I'd go in after a season or after a, a spring uh, practice or something like that, he kept elevating me up and t uh, to giving me a um, scholarship. And uh, his whole philosophy, the PMA philosophy, is something I've carried on throughout my life. And uh, I'm just, I'm honored that I could play for Coach D. Oh, he was a great coach. We had so much fun and uh, he turned a bunch of average players into a great team and he always considered team the most important thing and uh, we succeeded uh, in 76. We we're Division II national runner up so about this short from winning the whole thing but uh, he was a leader and uh, we had a great staff and a lot of great players. I think my fondest memory is uh, my, my recruiting process when he came to meet my parents and everything. He's a very nice guy. Uh, he really came at me hard. They really wanted me here. And I just appreciated, uh, he, I just seen a lot of character. I had a few places to choose from. And uh, this turned out to be probably the best place for me because my brother came. Uh, he got on a scholarship and actually Coach Dennison also coached my youngest son at Walsh. So it's kind of a family affair. So I think the first time he kept, came and met my parents and I signed. Uh, when he gave me the, the chance to, to play in the games and, and I didn't know if I was big enough, but he believed in me and, and I, I went ahead and did it and did a good job. I think we all remember sitting at Bookdale Field on, I believe it was Thursdays of game week and before practice, he would give us one of his talks. And uh, by the time he was done, we were ready to, uh, we were ready to play the game right then and there. But he was a great speaker. As a result of working with Jim, I learned a lot of things about positive attitude and being able to uh, organize a practice and do the things that are required to, uh, to have a good football program. And I'm uh, eternally thankful to Jim because he kept me alive in coaching. Uh, it was a great uh, time. My wife and family really enjoyed this, and uh, it, was, uh, it was a fun time. It really felt like he was a family member. He took care of us. He did anything that you needed that was legal, of course, and I mean, he, he made you feel like you were at home even though you were miles away from home. Without Coach D, I don't know if I'd have made it. Well, he gave me my first chance. I think we all remember in life who gave you a chance and had a little faith in you, and, and I came here as right out of college and just kind of sat at his knees listening to everything he said and for four years I just was like a sponge and then he got me opportunities to move forward and then recommended me for head coaching jobs later on and, and was just always there for me. Uh, it, this is a special day for me. I tell you that I owe everything to Jim Dennison. Dennison led the Zips from 1973 to 1985 and in 1976 led them to the NCAA Division II finals. Joe, back to you.